Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about RStudio interface. After you install RStudio, you can click on RStudio icon and then start RStudio. The RStudio interface consists of several panes. By default, you see three panes are visible. I will refer to these by the names of the default tab shown in each. The first one is the console pane, and second one is environment, and the third one is help or files pane. Console pane is the primary way that you interact with R. It's here that you input commands and then view most of your output. Environment pane has two relevant tabs, which are environment and history. A common feature between them is the broom icon that you see on the screen. That broom icon clears the content of each tab. The environment tab shows the data, objects and variables in the current R session. The history tab provides a list of all console commands issued in the session. The third one is the help and files pane. The files or help pane has five tabs. We are going to discuss only two of these, help and plots. The help tab is where you can view our documentation help files. For example, click on help and here you want to learn more about the print function. You type print where you see the magnifying glass and then enter. Then you see on the screen the help window brings you information about print function. The plots tab, we can click on that, is where you can see all graphs and charts. Any graph or chart can be cleared with the broom icon. It's not active as of yet because we don't have any plots here. The fourth pane is the source pane. The source pane is hidden by default in R. This is where you can write your own script. Now we, I can show you how to activate the source pane. You click on file a new file and then click on R script. So as you see this new pane is called source pane. Let's type print here. Print open the parentheses quotation mark hello and let's type one more command print. This is easy. So first let's save this file. Click on file and then choose save as. Here you can choose any folder to save your R scripts. I'm going to keep documents folder. Let's type script here and then click save. So now what happens is that here the R script title is shown on the script, script.r. To run the code, we click on source icon on the source pane and you see that hello and this is easy are shown on the console pane. So console pane is where you see your output and source pane is where you type your input. If you want to run only one line of command, you can select and then click on run. You see, just only hello is shown now on the console pane. In the next video, I'm going to show how to enter data to R and, and use some functions.